Imagine sitting down at your computer in 2025, turning it on. And instead of feeling confused or overwhelmed by pop-ups, licenses, subscriptions, and constant updates you didn't ask for, you feel calm. Everything is fast, clean, and under your control. That is the promise that Linux offers to beginners today. And in this video, we're going to explore exactly how Linux has evolved into something friendly, powerful, and surprisingly easy for new users. We'll talk about why people are switching, what Linux really is in simple terms, and most importantly, which Linux distribution in 2025 is truly the easiest for beginners who are just starting out. For many years, Linux had a reputation that scared people away, it was seen as something only programmers, hackers, or system administrators could use. People imagined black terminals filled with green text, cryptic commands, and hours of troubleshooting just to get sound working. That image may have been true 20 years ago, but today it couldn't be further from reality. Modern Linux in 2025 is polished, visual, intuitive, and in many cases easier than Windows or Mac OS, especially for someone who just wants a computer that works. Before we talk about which distro is best for beginners, let's first understand what Linux actually is. Linux is not a single operating system like Windows or Mac OS. Linux is a kernel, which is the core part of an operating system that talks directly to your computer hardware. On top of that kernel, different communities and companies build complete operating systems called distributions, or distros for short. Each distro combines the Linux kernel with a desktop environment, software tools, installers, and default apps, all packaged together in a way that reflects a certain philosophy or target audience. This is where beginners often feel confused. They hear names like Ubuntu, Linux, Mint, Zorin, OS, Fedora, Pop, Underscore OS, and many more, and they don't know where to start. The good news is that you don't need to understand all of them. Oh. In 2025, beginner-friendly Linux distros are designed to give you a smooth experience from the moment you boot up. They guide you through installation, detect your hardware automatically, and provide a familiar desktop layout so you feel at home instantly. So why would someone in 2025 even consider Linux as a beginner? One major reason is control. Linux gives you ownership of your computer. You are not forced to create online accounts just to log in. You are not constantly pushed into subscriptions. You are not locked into one company's ecosystem. Updates happen when you want them, not in the middle of your work. Uh, Another reason is performance. Linux runs incredibly well on both new and old hardware. That laptop that feels slow on Windows can feel brand new again on Linux. For students, freelancers, and everyday users, this can be a huge advantage. Security is another big reason. Linux is far less targeted by malware compared to other operating systems. Its permission system is strict by design, which means harmful software cannot easily make changes without your approval. For beginners in 2025, this means peace of mind. You don't need to install heavy antivirus software just to feel safe. The system itself is built with security in mind. Now let's talk about usability, because that's what matters most to beginners. The easiest Linux distro in 2025 is not the one with the most features or the most customization options. It's the one that feels natural, forgiving, and familiar. It should guide you instead of punishing you for mistakes. It should look good out of the box and allow you to do everyday tasks without learning anything technical. In 2025, Linux Mint stands out as one of the absolute best choices for beginners. Linux Mint has spent years focusing on one simple goal, making Linux comfortable and easy for new users. When you install Linux Mint, the desktop you see feels immediately familiar, especially if you're coming from Windows. And there's a taskbar at the bottom, a menu in the corner, system icons where you expect them, and clear settings panels that explain what everything does. What makes Linux Mint especially beginner-friendly is how little it asks from you. You don't need to open the terminal unless you want to. Software installation is simple and graphical. You open the software manager, search for what you want, click install, and that's it. No hunting for random download links, no worrying about viruses, and no confusing installers. Everything comes from trusted repositories that are maintained and tested. Linux Mint in 2025 also handles updates beautifully. Instead of forcing updates on you, it notifies you and lets you decide when to apply them. Updates are categorized by safety level, so beginners can see which ones are essential and which ones can wait. This transparency builds confidence instead of fear. Another distro that deserves attention is Zorin OS. 
Zorin OS is designed specifically for people switching from Windows or Mac OS. In 2025, Zorin has become even more polished. Its setup process is incredibly smooth, and the desktop can be customized with one click to look like Windows, Mac OS, or a simple Linux layout. For beginners, this is powerful because it reduces the learning curve to almost zero. Zorin OS also focuses heavily on aesthetics. Everything looks clean, modern, and professional. Fonts are readable, animations are smooth, and the system feels cohesive. For new users who judge an operating system by how it looks and feels, Zorin OS makes a very strong first impression. Ubuntu is another name that beginners often hear first, and in 2025 it remains a solid option. Ubuntu has one of the largest communities, which means help is easy to find. If you ever search for a Linux problem online, chances are the solution will mention Ubuntu. Ubuntu's installer is simple, and it works well on most hardware. However, Ubuntu's desktop layout can feel a bit different for beginners, especially those coming from Windows. The dock is on the side, the workflow is more centered around search, and some decisions are opinionated. For some beginners, this feels modern and refreshing. For others, it can feel unfamiliar. That's why many beginners prefer Linux, Mint, or Zorin OS, which aim to feel instantly recognizable. One important thing beginners worry about is software compatibility. Will my apps work on Linux? In 2025, this question has a much better answer than ever before. Browsers like Chrome, Firefox, and Edge are fully supported. Office alternatives like LibreOffice handle most documents perfectly, and many people don't even notice a difference. For those who need Microsoft Office, web versions work well, and compatibility has improved significantly. Creative users are also well supported. Tools like GIMP for image editing, KDNLive for video editing, and Audacity for audio work are powerful and free. Many professionals use Linux daily for creative work. For beginners, the key point is that you don't need to pay up front for software just to get started. Gaming on Linux in 2025 is also no longer a joke. It's thanks to technologies like Proton and Vulkan, thousands of Windows games now run on Linux with little or no configuration. Platforms like Steam support Linux natively, and performance is often on par with Windows. For beginners who enjoy gaming, this is a huge shift compared to the past. Another fear beginners have is breaking the system. On Linux, especially beginner-friendly distros, it's actually harder to break things permanently than people think. The system asks for your password before making important changes, which protects you from accidental mistakes. If something does go wrong, Linux has strong recovery options. You can boot into older kernels, repair packages, or even reinstall the system without losing personal files. Installation itself has become much easier by 2025. You download an ISO file. Write it to a USB drive, boot from it, and follow a guided installer. Most installers now offer automatic partitioning, so beginners don't have to understand disk layouts. You can even try Linux Live from the USB before installing, which lets you test everything without touching your existing system. This ability to try before committing is one of Linux's greatest strengths for beginners. You can explore the desktop, check Wi-Fi, sound, display, and performance all without risk. If you like it, you install it. If you don't, you reboot, and everything is exactly as it was before. Customization is another area where Linux shines, even for beginners. While you don't need to customize anything to use Linux comfortably, you have the freedom to change themes, icons, fonts, and layouts if you want. This sense of ownership is empowering. Your computer feels like yours, not something rented from a corporation. Community support is also a big part of the Linux experience. Beginner-friendly distros have forums, guides, and tutorials created by people who genuinely want to help. Questions are answered with patience, and documentation is detailed. In 2025, AI-powered tools and assistants have also made troubleshooting easier than ever. So which Linux distro is the easiest for beginners in 2025? For most people, the answer is Linux Mint. It strikes the perfect balance between simplicity, stability, performance, and familiarity. Zorin OS is a close second, especially for users who care deeply about design in a Windows-like feel. Ubuntu remains a strong and popular option with massive community support. The most important thing to remember is that there is no single correct choice. 
Linux gives you options, and that's a good thing. As a beginner, you are not locked in forever. You can switch distros later without losing your Linux knowledge. Everything you learn carries over. In 2025, Linux is no longer just an alternative operating system. It is a mature, user-friendly, and powerful platform that welcomes beginners instead of intimidating them. If you're tired of forced updates, slow performance, and lack of control, Linux offers a refreshing change. You don't need to be a tech expert. You just need curiosity and the willingness to try something new. Once you experience how smooth, fast, and respectful Linux can be, it's hard to go back. For beginners, this is the perfect time to start. Linux has never been easier, more polished or more welcoming than it is right now.